Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're from. Um, we are in Bournemouth. We've come to check out Winter Wonderland in Bournemouth. Um, they've got a load of lights with like trees and things like that that we're going to show you and also the Christmas market. So stay tuned and it will start getting darker and uh, you'll see these beautiful trees. And it's also on the seafront as well. And free. And it's free. So stay tuned. Leading from the gardens to the square, it's a Merry Christmas that goes into Christmas market. There's hot chocolate. There's also a hog roast as well. And they always have a um, like an Alpine lodge, which is in front, which is like a bar. My, mighty wieners, 100% vegan. Ooh, there's smoke, nice and snowy over there. The inside of there is like a bar, um, dressed up to be like a ski lodge. There's also uh, Yorkshire pudding wraps. And there's still snow coming down, which is really cool. Pizza. <laughs> Festive loaded fries. The Bournemouth Brownie Company and Coffee. Different brownies. We also have Northwick's wine and spirits. The Great British Cheese Company. Pineapple Island. Which has things like bracelets, um, ornaments, um, dream catchers. There's another one here that has, oops, sorry, there's another one here that has cute little tigers and what have you, on tutus, and what looks to be moo cows. That one is cute. That's Jacqueline's Christmas gift shop. Lots and lots of jewelry. Um, Alpen Schatz Europe, I think I said that right. Um, they've got uh, loads of different Christmas stuff as well as socks. They've got a lovely advent calendar over there as well, if you saw oh, I'm that. I'm gonna go and get me strand. The silver lady, jewelry again. Ardent headwear for all your headwear needs. These are nice though. Have a little stroke, madam, feel free. Kitty, you could have your own kitty. <laughs> and then the cherry tree. So the sort of yeah. different jams. How are you, right? Uh, simply stylish. Um, Starlight, which has like um, star type um, hangings for your lights. Love mugs, different types of novelty mugs. Italian fashion. Uh, again, Italian fashion again with socks. And then Amdo Timber, which is a mixture of hats. I think these are the ones that the ears go up. Um, and then there's like Pikachu hats and things like that. So Obscura Cafe is just a cafe that serves alcohol also and some food. It's just in Bournemouth as well. And they have um, like a photo opportunity, which you'll see right here. Next up, next to the hot chocolate, we've just gone off to this direction, but we're now going up this one. So you have churros. Um, there is some Christmas crepes. And there is a sign over there, which is a digital sign telling you what's happening. And we're now heading off in this direction. Like I said earlier, they sort of, the Alpine Lodge, they dress it up so it's like a, real sort of like ski lodge sort of thing. So they've added in um, different sorts of like decoration of um, ski lifts and things like that um, outside of bodies. I also have a cute sign here as well. It says Bournemouth Christmas. So you've got Sapling Spirits, uh, the Bournemouth Bag Company, 
Sorry for the flickering lights. Also have Charles Taylor, which sells um, outdoor furniture. And here is the remainder of the outside garden, garden types of furniture that they sell. Normally find it sort of a, like a food festival. What's a Christmas market about sweets as well. All different types of cables, uh, little mushrooms, eggs, more cables. Um, there's also a photo booth as well. So it's like an automated system, you pay in six pounds. Uh, cooler kiss. It's like a marshmallow with chocolate around it. Oh, okay, marshmallow with chocolate around it. It does. Luna Mars. So it's like another jewelry place. Oh my god, these Win are so cute. Look at these. Aww. Aww. That's so cute. Uh, winter accessories, another type of um, place again with like hats, scarves, the trilbies over there as well. Uh, Sybil London, so I think I've seen these before. These are like um, cards. Oh, sorry. Uh, foldable cards. You get cute little designs like this. Um, so like wooden lights. And then they sell music boxes as well. We have a few of these at home. Um, yeah. We also have pocket watches as well. The name of thrones. You get to see if your name is in there. You get to see if your name is in where? Whether you are a royal or Oh okay. That's cool. Huh. And then we have for all things chili. So literally for everything chilly. Uh, we have the Old English Fudge. And there's different types of fudge. I also have Greek olives, which also has things like Turkish Delight and what have you in there as well. Personalized Christmas decorations. We actually have one of these. Um, I can't remember which one it was. Uh, one of the snowmen ones, apparently. It's not the green one, it's like two. Yeah. Might like one of these. Anyway, we've lost it for ages and then we found it the other day in a box that wasn't the Christmas box. But yeah, they can personalise your name on it and what have you. London leather gifts. I like their jumpers in the background, to be honest. Their jumpers quite cool. And we've got South Coast. Maker's Market. Bad Hand Coffee. <laughs> Ando Tilbert. I think there was another one around the corner again with like the hats and what have you. And then the hats that lift up like that. And that's pretty much it of the market. Um, there is also a sign here that says Welcome to Bournemouth Christmas Market and then the website and what have you. Right, it's just about dark enough. I'm gonna head off into the Wonderland. So this is really cool. I like this. We have been here on previous years before. Um, and there's always something quite different. Like there's 29 lots of lights. Is there stuff on the prom as well? Oh yeah, peer approach. Maybe then. Right, but yeah, this is everything. Over to the right, there's some lights on the tree. The Bournemouth Christmas Tree Wonderland. These are cute, and they like put the lights through. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> this is where you can go um, ice skating. So, um, session times ice skating. A child is £12.50, for an adult it's £14.50, concession is £13.50, and family of two adults, two children, or one, hour, one adult and three children is £47. Quick little... So 
by the looks of it, they're putting stuff up and then there looks to be a bar in there as well again there's the um the tech the tech it ticket desk um with like the uh ski i can't remember what they're called now but yeah those things okay, oh there's the ice rink this one nearly fell over <laughs> Please do not touch the delicate trees. They have been handcrafted by a team of elves and are easily damaged. They're cute. They are very cute. This is the ice skating rink in uh, Bournemouth Gardens. It is actually ice and not just plastic. Treeful tower. <laughs> when it gets a lot darker, these projection lights um, they all like shine around and what have you. We're going through the tree. We'll go back to back. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We have another tree. It's like baubles on a tree. It's all lit up. Again, the same message applies. Please, do, uh, please don't touch the delicate trees. They have been handcrafted by a team of elves and are easily damaged. I'm not going to say it for every single one. I just wanted to make sure that the message was exactly the same. Quite like that one, but blue and yellow are my favorite colors. So a little biased. Annoyingly, I feel like the camera's just not picking it up. Like, it... <laughs> see if I can just darken it. See if I can darken it a little bit. There you go. You can see more of the lights a little bit more now. I got pictures. Keith got pictures. She's on it. That's a cute tree. That is a cute tree. I like it's like almost sort of like it goes from. Green, red, and yellow. It's not bad. I like that the um, snowflakes do that. Like yeah. Pulse. Yeah. It's almost like a nativity scene, but in a light box. And then new this year, the Bournemouth Santa Express. Santa has brought his train along. <laughs> That's very cute. Yeah. And a big, massive Santa Claus. Kind of looks like one of the Canadians from South Park. One of the Canadians from South Park? Yeah, because their mouth opens in the middle, doesn't it? Oh, right, yeah. But to me, it kind of looks like a Fool Guys character. <laughs> I think this one's called like the stag or something. I can't remember all their names. It's really cool. I was going to say, we finally agreed on something. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Ooh, duck and chicken. Duck and chicken. Oh. I know, right? Furry. A few photo ops. We will go check them all out. The observation wheel. I've never been on that. And then on to the next photo op. <laughs> Take your picture in here. Now we're done with that photo op, but I embarrassed myself because Kitty then told me they're doing a video. So uh, that's fun. You'll see that embarrassing photo op. Or video right man's gonna head to the snowman. This is the snowman. The ride come and fly. I'm not sure how much it costs, cause there's no sign to say how much it costs. I will put it up in the menu now. Right, I'm gonna try and say this over the copyright music by now. We are going inside of the snowman. The doors are closing. Let's see what happens next. 
compared to that. Sick on the today, so this is making me feel rough. So we have a I'm getting spicy in there. Oh, we're super up. Tell you what, it's a bit rough. It's a bit unexpected too. Tell you what, I'm glad they put a handrail on there because I'm freaking. It's really just a sharp turn, so it does me. It's quite calm right now. Whoa! 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 fucking blow some chunks. Please be the end. There's no button in here for me to press. I'm kind of glad that's over. But I do thank you, Kitty, for letting me go on this ride. Civilization. So I've just been on the snowman, um, the uh, snowman ride. Uh, let's just say I'm uh, not designed for uh, simulators anymore like I used to be able to. Kind of uh, made me a little bit sick, but um, it's gonna be great content, so. All right, moving on, we're gonna go to, we'll check out the Smuggler's Cove quickly. Smuggler's Cove. Adventure Golf in Bournemouth. £10.60 for adults, £7.50 for children, family group £30. Never seen this before. But yeah, it's just a massive golf course or crazy golf. That looks to be fountain over there. And it's sunnier, obviously. I've done, I've done golf. I've done golf when it's really, really windy. Did it when I was a kid when I was like in Isle of Wight or something. It was so windy that the um, the ball kept like moving all over the place. Like it was like 18 holes as well. By the time that game had finished, we were just happy that it was over because <laughs> it was a nightmare. We'd put the ball down and it start going everywhere. Oh, it's hilarious. We are heading to the pier. Oh look, it says the Christmas trail that way. Follow the Christmas tree trail this way. Now normally in the summer you have to pay to come onto here, but we, it's, just, it's the winter, so you don't have to. They do, however, have a coin press machine here that still accepts the one pounds and doesn't have like the card reader thingy. Wonder what you can get. Russell Coates, Westcliff Railway, Bournemouth, Bournemouth. Oh. It's like a VW van on there. Christmas tree. Question one. How many reindeer does Santa have? Uh, eight, seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. I'll go with that. Sorry, these are little questions that are showing up on these little things here. Oh, the answer was nine. Yeah. Hey, we were right. Within the seven, eight, nine. Another Christmas tree. Uh, can you name all of Santa's reindeer? Um, Donna, Blitzen, Comet, Cupid, Rudolph, Dasher, Dancer, One, two, three, oh, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donna, and Blitzen, and Rudolph. Oh, I got a few of them. Okay. We got one, two, Six or seven. Okay. Which country started the tradition of putting up a Christmas tree? Oh, no, I think it's like Norway. Norway or Sweden. Denmark or something like that. Germany? No, not Germany. <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> Germany. I mean, um, what's the next one? Um, what was Frosty the Snowman's nose made out of? A button. A button. Oh, we are wrong. Got a lovely view though. 
Um, name the famous Christmas ballet. It's gotta be, right? It is hey. the Nutcracker. You're right. Which ocean is Christmas Island situated in? Ooh. Specific. Specific. It's the Indian Ocean. Yeah. Where does Santa Claus live? North Pole. It has to be the North Pole. Got it right. Oh, cool. Uh, the, the little characters that they have with them are so cute. What colour is the Grinch? Green. Yeah, he's green. And then there's the Grinch. You're a mean one. Oh. You reckon? France. Norway. Norway. <laughs> the whole of Europe. Oh my god. It is Norway for once. I knew, I knew it was one of these ones. Look. Boom. Oh, we know this one. What's the name of Christos Reindeer at the Disney movie Frozen? Sven. 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 What colour is Santa's suit? Red, but it didn't it used red to be green? Oh, I don't know. Oh, it just says red. I just says red. Red. Right. What gifts did the wise men give Jesus on his birthday? Uh, gold? frankincense, oh. gold, and, and myrrh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> gold, yeah. frankincense, and myrrh. Um. What are Santa's helpers called? Elves. Right. Copyright music. Bam, 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 bam. bam. Elves, yep. Keep reading. In the movie, Review Elf. What was the first rule of the Elves' code? Treat every day like Christmas. I don't really watch that film. In which country is Father Christmas known as Babu Natal? Babu Natal. I don't have a clue. Italy? Uh, which, oh, right, which you were right. Which mint candy is popular during Christmas time? Uh, Gotta be all right. Candy canes. Candy canes. What kind of food do you leave for Santa's reindeer? Carrots. Oh yeah, carrots. In Charles Dickens' Christmas Carol, what was the first name of Scrooge? What is the first name of Scrooge? Ebenezer. Yeah, we were right. Ebenezer. On which day is Christmas celebrated? It's on the 25th, of course. Oh. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's already there, look. Christmassy. All right. Yep. What's next? Which colors are traditional Christmas colors? Red, gold, and green. Red, gold, and green. Let's find out. Red and green. Uh, how do you say Merry Christmas in Spanish? Is Feliz that Feliz Navidad? Navidad. <laughs> Come on, if that's not it, we're so bad. Oh, it was! It was. Oh, look at that. Thank you. Question 22. What are, what are you supposed to do when you find yourself under the mistletoe? Pick your nose. Kiss. Oh. Smooches. <laughs> Kiss. Uh, not pick your nose. Nope. Definitely. Um, what three small words are the laughter of Father Christmas? Ho, ho, ho. What you just call me? A ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ho, ho, ho. In which novel is it always winter but never Christmas? The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Yeah. Next one, question 25. What is the name of the day after Christmas Day, Boxing Day? How many ghosts show up on a Christmas carol? Well, it depends, because if you um, include his business partner, it was like, Four, wasn't it? But technically, it was three because it was Christmas past, Christmas present, Christmas future. So it depends which way they answer it. Really, it depends how technical they want to get. It's four. Oh, they were very technical. Very technical indeed. Oh, I love that they have the, the little, little ghosties. <laughs> right. What's up next? 
Name the famous scientist who was born on the 25th of December. Ooh. Einstein? So Einstein. It's not like Brian Adams or something. Brian Adams is a good scientist, is he? There's two Brian Adams, isn't there? Oh, sorry. No, no, Isaac, Isaac Newton, Newton who Isaac discovered Newton. gravity. <laughs> we know nothing. <laughs> um, last question. How much time does a Christmas tree need to reach? What? How much time does a Christmas tree need to reach average height? 15 years? Like, a, I guess it's like Oh, like a, a, when you're growing it? Yeah. 15? 15? <laughs> 25? 15? 20? 25? I'll go with whatever you're going with. Okay. Ooh, what? look at that! Look at that! 15 years! <clears throat> I may not be smart about some things, but I'm smart about others. <laughs> yep. You just solved the Christmas tree trail. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going back. Back to the lights. That looks much better. Oh. The stag. Buzz. And then the lights are creating like some sort of like fountain sort of effect. I'm not gonna lie, I'll see if I can darken it for a bit. Oh, there you go, I've darkened it. It looks much cooler. Kind of reminds me of the waves. And it says, ho, ho, ho. Ooh, that's very cute, with a little teddy bear in there. So they do have some birds up here. They have like a little aviary here. They have pheasants. On you, is that how you say it? A parakeet. Ta-da! Going in. Ho Ho Hot Chocolates, mulled wine and cider, wine, beer, cocktails. There's the list. Oh, by the looks of it, can have your photo taken. Oh, that light is very bright though. Four pounds. And your picture kind of looks like you're on the uh, ski slope lift. It's like a restaurant up here. It looks quite nice actually. Very, uh, very Christmassy. That's not a real fire over there, it's just a TV. But picnic on the piste. Yeah, it's pretty cute. Especially as normally there's nothing really up here, so it's kind of like quite cool. What do you think? I love it. Oh yeah, it's a good use of space. And then there's another area over there and there's little sort of like huts over there as well. There's like your own little private igloo teepee thing. That's quite cute as well. We're heading back now, but just wanted to show you this. It looks a little bit more lit up than when we originally come through here. We're gonna head through the tree. We're gonna walk for it in the night. Right, we're back in the car. So squishy. What was the thing that you liked the most? I always like that tunnel like tree. Um, I really like that they did the. Um, I really like that they did the um, sort of like the questions and like the tree trail around the pier. Um, and then, I quite like that. Um, off that picnic, off piste or whatever it was called. Okay, and what was the worst thing? The worst thing. I don't think there is any worst things, to be honest. Not the snowman ride. Oh the yeah, the snowman ride. I got terrible memory. Um, yeah, the snowman ride. That was. 
pretty iffy, I'm not gonna lie. If it was like a new simulator, I'd imagine it would actually be quite nice, but that was, uh, it was very much like I was sat there and it was just like, I, was, I didn't think the handrail, I didn't think I need the handrail, sorry, I'm just using the steering wheel, for example, and then I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> So, um, yeah, that was pretty bad. And the funniest thing? Funniest thing. I quite like doing uh, the the little questions and stuff that you and I did around the pier was quite funny. Yeah, it's fun. Um, and going around the um, damn it, I forgot about the Christmas market, but yeah, I like that too. But yeah, the funniest bit was was the quiz, the quizzy bits. And the saddest thing. Saddest thing, having to go home. Ah, okay. Bye bye for now, guys. Follow like us, and subscribe. like it, subscribe it, follow us on TikTok, um, or Twitch. We're all over everywhere, so uh, yeah, have fun. Bye.